i-install na natin yung Debian sa VirtualBox. Let's choose Graphical Install. Language, English, Country, Philippines, Keyboard, Pwedeng US, Pwedeng Philippines. May mga portion ng video na to na pinabilis ko yung speed para you not be wasting time. So, din na-detect niya yung internet natin kasi nga we're using virtual box. Kung direct install to at taka wifi kayo tatanawin yung driver. We will choose the host name. We'll just leave the root user blank para nakalak yung root user natin. Mas secure siya. Gamit lang tayo ng administrator na user. In this case, user 1. Put, put in the password. Kino-configure niya yung clock based sa location natin. From here, papartition na natin ang ating Debian system. Right na yung new partition. Gawa tayo ng boot folder. Gawa natin sa beginning. Extension 4. Gagamitin natin file system. Tapos yung bootable, bootable flag, i-on natin. Gagawa tayo ng root partition. Ideally, 40 GB pataas kung mag install kayo sa hard disk. Since VirtualBox lang, lang to, 20 GB lang ialat natin. Extensor, EXT4, journaling file system, mount point, root. That's a root folder. Pagawa hmm. tayo ng Mm, swap area at least uh, same amount ng RAM natin na ginagamit tapos yung home folder yung remaining na hard drive So, final word ko itong pag-install ng system niya kasi medyo matagal. Kaya nila kung hard disk na yung gamit nyo at hindi SSD. Okay. So, we will choose no. Yes. Ito yung repository ng Debian kung saan magda-download. So, nasa Pilipinas tayo. We'll choose the Philipp Philippines country. So, dev.dbn.org, pinili natin. Okay, na-update na niya yung mga software na i-install. Para pag-boot ng system, updated na lahat. Again, fast forward ko, 
ang pag-install kasi medyo mabagal lalo na kung spinning hard disk ang gamit nyo piliin ko lang yung no, we don't want to participate kasi nagsisend sya ng statistics kung ano yung mga naka-install sa system natin, we don't want that no need ang default na desktop environment is GNOME or GNOME inuncheck ko yung desktop environment pinili ko yung XFCE print server din natin kailangan standard system utilities kailangan natin so sit back and relax kasi medyo matagal tong proseso na to kung SSD yung gamit mo medyo Mabilis compared sa spinning disk. install niya ang grab bootloader naalala nyo nung nagpartition tayo ng disk meron tayong boot folder piliin natin yung hard disk lang so it's complete reboot so ito na yung grab center and lalabas yung log screen natin center the details yung user, user natin na ginawa tapos yung password That's it.